Supporters of Syria's President Bashar Assad gathered in Damascus today for the funeral of one of the country's best-known clerics, Sheikh Mohammed al Bouti, who was killed in a bomb attack earlier this week. al Bouti, along with his grandson and 48 others, died in the blast at an 8th-century mosque. President Assad has vowed to avenge his death, as our chief correspondent Alex Thompson reports from Damascus. A suicide bomb in a mosque unprecedented in this war. A funeral at Damascus's vast Umayyad mosque, if not unheard of, extremely rare. The coffin of Mohammed al Bouti, borne aloft in public and grieved in silence. Why was Jesus targeted? Why was Moses targeted? Why are prophets targeted? Because they carry the message of peace and love. Imams, foreign visitors, government ministers hearing speeches which, amongst other things, accused the West of supplying the rebels here with chemical weapons. Prominent Christians here too, like the deputy patriarch of Damascus. He stood for peace. He preached love for all Syrians. That's why he is important. He made no distinction between Christians and Muslims. The Orthodox bishop is speaking now in a mosque and is close to tears, remembering a man who he says was a non-sectarian figure and a scholar. Critics, however, would say that his lifelong support for the Assad regime made him, in fact, a very political figure. And perhaps predictably, it was politics rather than religion, loud and passionate, which came to the fore as soon as they drifted away from the mosque itself. They chanted for the country, for unity, but they also chanted for revenge, for the Shabiha, the government's militia, and of course, for Assad, for Bashar. It was to continue along through the historic streets of the old city, Souk, into the city beyond. Hated by critics for being a stooge for the government here, his death nonetheless marks something of a turning point in this war, a new low. A civil war in which no man, no cleric, no building, no mosque can now be considered safe. And just to remind you, next week, Channel 4 News will be charting the course of Syria's descent from the front lines of a brutal war to the struggle for daily survival and the joy amidst the carnage. Live and exclusive from Damascus, Syria's descent starts next week on Channel 4 News.